Hi, today I'm going to be taking a look at a line of lenses that I'm very fond of. Uh, I discovered Konica cameras a number of years ago and I've over time been collecting them. Uh, I now own every Konica camera from the uh, auto reflex line. Now this line started in the mid 60s and went all the way up to the late 80s. And I hope to have another video where I talk specifically about the cameras, but in this video, I want to focus on the lenses. Now, the lenses that came with these Konica cameras were called Hexanon. And the Hexanon lenses have a wonderful reputation. And I've also read that the Hexanon lenses actually years ago were the official lenses for the Japanese military. So that says a lot about them right there in terms of quality. Now you can see on your screen, I have a Konica camera called the FC-1. This is a one of the Konica cameras from the auto reflex line that I'm quite fond of. And I have a couple of lenses that I'm going to talk to you about. This lens here on the right is a 50 millimeter f 1.4 and the 50 milliliter lenses are very popular on secondhand websites uh, you can see them quite often on places like ebay uh, a lot of collectors look for the 50 millimeter hexanon lens in particular and again this is the 50 millimeter f 1.4 there's also an f 1.7 that is also quite legendary and I'll just give you a look at the lens itself, the body, we see there, it's a very sturdy lens, very responsive. I quite like using the 50 millimeter lens, but I will say my absolute favorite Hexanon lens is actually this one. Okay, and we see it's the 28 millimeter F 3.5. Just a beautiful, beautiful lens. I've used it many times over the years and it's never let me down. And certainly the thing about Hexanon lenses is they have a reputation for being pin sharp. It's funny, I'll also mention that it seems to me that Konica always took a back seat to much more popular brands like Canon and Nikon. But quite frankly, I've spoken to a lot of photographers over the years and I've read a lot of articles about Hexanon lenses and many, many professional photographers have said that the Hexanon lenses are just as good as anything that Canon did or Nikon did and some photographers felt that they were actually even better. So this is a big reason why Konica cameras and the Hexanon lenses are quite popular because they can be found for a rather inexpensive price and that's one thing I love about Konica cameras because they don't necessarily have the same reputation as Canon or Nikon, they can be often bought for half the price. Now my FC1 here, I think I bought this camera. It came, I think with three or four different lenses and a bunch of different other accessories. And I believe I paid about a hundred dollars for the whole thing. So I really got a good deal. Uh, I believe this lens actually came with the camera. The 50 millimeter F1.7, I can't quite recall exactly where I found it or how much I paid for it, but I know it wasn't an extravagant amount. Now again, I think it's a real shame that Konica never really seemed to get the attention or the accolades that were given to much more popular or much more well-known uh, camera manufacturers. But again, I'm quite a fan. Again, I have every camera from the auto reflex line and they've all worked perfectly for me. I haven't had that many issues at all. Now, one of the most common issues I find with these old Konica's is that often the light meter doesn't work. Well, you could get that fixed if you so desire, but usually what I do is I just use an external light meter and it solves the problem very quickly. This FC1 has always been a workhorse for me. Now, a lot of people who are into Konica seem to be big fans of the FT1, which had an auto advance and an auto rewind. Uh, I have the FT1. It's a nice camera, but I must say I'm more fond of the FC1. Uh, the light meter is very responsive. It's a series of vertical LED red lights, and it always seems to work very accurate for me. And again, we have the standard controls on top. We have the hot shoe. 
uh, we have the shutter speed control, the shutter release, and the film advance lever. And there's also a self timer there on the front off to the left. Now the Hexanon lenses came in a variety of focal lengths, uh, all the way from telephoto to fisheye. And I highly recommend that you look into them. And there's also a number of adapters on the market today where you can use those old Hexanon lenses on your digital camera. So if that's something that you're interested in, it can be very easily done. I strongly suggest if you're just getting started in film photography and you're looking to buy your first film camera and maybe you don't have a huge budget, you're looking for something fairly affordable, maybe you don't want to pay more than a hundred dollars, Konica is definitely the way to go. You can find all kinds of Konica cameras online for well under a hundred dollars, sometimes under fifty dollars. Sometimes people are giving them away. My very first Konica was actually gifted to me and it kind of got the ball rolling and started my love of the Konica brand. And most of the Hexanon lenses can be found online on various websites for very decent prices. I will say there are certain Hexanon lenses that seem to be especially popular and people really seem to be trying to track them down. One of them is the 24 millimeter Hexanon lens, which I've been trying to track down for years. It always seems to be more expensive than the other Hexanon lenses, and I'm pretty sure there's a reason for that. Again, the quality of Hexanon lenses has been known for years. So that's my little spiel about Hexanon lenses and Konica cameras. Again, I do hope in the future to make a video that focuses specifically on the cameras themselves, Thank you for watching. I hope you can join me again next time. I do often do tech reviews related to photography, especially film photography. So if you're into film photography, either 35 millimeter or 120, please subscribe to my channel. I do often post camera related videos. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye-bye.